Hey guys, may God bless you. So today will be the day 2 of the Bible study sessions of the book of Daniel. So today we will be going to start from Daniel chapter 3. Today we will be going to read Daniel chapter 3. If you can please continue to read with me and then you could get a much more clear understanding regarding these facts. Let's begin from Daniel chapter 3. The topic is the image of gold and the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold 90 feet high and 90 feet wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps, satraps, perfects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates and all the other provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image he had set up. So the satraps, perfects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image of King assembled for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up and they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, This is what you are the command this is what you are commanded to do, O peoples, nations and men of every language. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of God that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a burning furnace. Therefore, as soon as they had heard the sound of the horn, flute, sither, lyre, harp and all kinds of music, all the peoples, nations and men of every language fell down and worshipped the image of God that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. At this time, some astrologers came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to the king, they said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O King, live forever. You have issued a decree, O King, that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, cither, lyre, harp, pipes, and all kinds of music must, must fall down and worship the image of God. And whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a, into a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, O King. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of God you have set up. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar Sumon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, so these men were brought before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of God I have set up? Now when you hear the sound of the horn, flute, cither, lyre, harp, pipes and all kinds of music, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. Then what God will be able to, res will be able to rescue you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the bla blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it, O King. But even if he does not, we want you, know, we want you to know, O King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of God you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men, wearing their robes, trousers, turbans and other clothes, were bound and thrown into the burning furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisers, Weren't there the three men that we tied up and threw into the, threw into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. He said, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and both looks like a son of the gods. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be cut into pieces and their house be, be turned into piles of rubble, for no other god can save in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. 
This is a very great and perfect spot to identify the power of God. So my dear friends, so I hope you have understood everything in today's Bible study. If you have any questions regarding this Bible study or regarding any past Bible study, feel free to comment down below and I will provide you with the answers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the tomorrow's Bible study. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. And her bow is not in her home. She's a diamond.